Captain Jack, he's been here before, so he's going to guide me. So I'm just going to fly behind him. If I need to talk to him, right hand is walkie talkie. Can you hear me now? Talk yeah. Back. Okay, perfect. And see, the road is still going up here. Yeah, here's the main parking area. As you can see, we're flying, and it's totally possible to hold one of your hands up and walkie talkie while you fly. The other hand is for panels, so I want to land somewhere. If I want to see if there's a panel, I just bring it up, it'll load the panel, and I can see what it looks like in this place. As soon as it loads, that's what it looks like. This is, I guess, the tree area. Uh, since we're in Google Earth, some places are in 3D and others are not. The topography here is 100% 3D, as you can see, the trees are not. Uh, it does add trees in many urban places, but when you're far off in nowhere, usually it's just the topography, which is just good enough, actually, for planning. All right, so. Captain Jack, can you show me around uh, where we're we going from here? So this is, I guess, the start right here? Yeah, more or less. Car, car comes up to you, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, so, so I'll fly behind you to show me the beginning of the trail. Yeah. So this is a three-day hike. Uh, and it you go roughly goes up this way. All right. And I think I think we're like starting at something like 8,000 feet elevation of the trailhead. Is that right? Again, uh, right hand up is uh, walkie-talkie. Okay. You can see the trail below us. You can see the trail below us. It's, it's yeah, zigzagging. Exactly. Right. Yeah, you're zigzagging as you fly. <laughs> but yeah, it's zigzagging. Trail. And so you go from 8,000 to 12,000 feet, right? Which is 4,000 elevation gain. Vertical elevation again. How many miles is this to hike this? 21 miles round trip, though. So okay. It's a really beautiful meadow. And then. Oh, it's a beautiful. Oh, yeah, it is beautiful. There's a, there's a lower base camp here, I think. And then it goes it goes over here to the right. Okay. Well, that's a lot of climbing for one day. Yeah. You basically follow this. Uh, Billy, I'm gonna land here just to see if it's panel. Oh yeah, it's definitely above uh, the tree line. Huh. All right, I, I see. got a snow panel. Yeah, I see. Snow panel? Let me see. Oh yeah. <laughs> is this somebody attempting in the winter or not necessarily if we fall, probably? Uh, it looks, <laughs> looks pretty winter yeah. to me. Some people do go up in the winter. Interesting. All right, let's oh yeah, people go up at any month. Well, okay. It's just a lake on the left. All right, so then it keeps going, and this is this is still just day one. And this is the base camp. Yes. And I showed people how to do this before, but let's just do it again. Yeah, if, if you see a place, like this is the base camp. If you see and you want to save it, you just press and hold the A button, go to virtual travel, and you click this bookmark. And I already made that flag. And then you can see all your user bookmarks as opposed to the default or private bookmarks and so on. So that's what it does when you do a bookmark. You get a big red flag and it gives you the name up above it. Uh, okay. So next, where do we go? So let's go up the zigzag. So to go up to the peak, you actually have to go through this zigzag here. And there you can see the trail right below us. And it gets really, really technical right up here. I didn't expect that. It's pretty steep right through here. You can see the zigzag on the mountain. And if you're not sure what it looks like, this is, that's freaky. And that's what it looks like, like a big wall almost. And then this goes up, zigzags up and up until you get to the saddle area right here. Right, and right back here. There, and that's actually what it looks like, interesting. <clears throat> so I guess the climb is you're already up here in like 12,000, uh, more than 12,000, it's like 13,000, I guess, for the steep part, and, or maybe even more. And then it's not so steep to the, the actual peak. Let, let me huddle you uh, right here. Okay, right. so folks, when you huddle, the person is stuck in the air so they don't fall through the mesh until the mesh shows up for them. The mesh may not show for him when it shows for me. It might take him some time to download it. All right, so uh, let's see. So this here, let's take a look at the panel. Let's take a look from here. Huh. Looks like it's over there. Yeah. The nice thing about these panels is that they align with the topography, which is pretty cool. So let me ask you something. Is this is this last part the hardest because of the... Because you're probably going like from what, 13,000 up here to 14,500? It's more like 13,500 here, right? roughly. I think the saddle back there is 13,000 or 13,500. Okay, so we're higher. So what's this? Let's say the peak is 14,000, like 600 or 500-ish, right? 14,505. Okay. So yeah, so there's about 1,000 feet to go. So what, you walk like a turtle at this altitude here, probably very, very slow? It depends on how acclimated you are. Cool. And here we are, made it to the peak. So what, what would you say, how many hours would you say it would take to go from the saddle over there to here to the peak? When I've done it, I leave it at sunrise and I get back down at around dinner time. Okay. No, but how long would it take from the saddle over there to here? Is it like two, three hours or a lot more? Probably a couple hours. Two, three hours, yeah. So it, it, the thing is very much like half dome at the very, the very peak, which is interesting, I thought. So there you go. That's how you plan the trip. Actually, at the peak, the very peak, I'm going to put a bookmark. So go to virtual travel, click bookmark, and here we go. And that's the bookmark from my So now, let's see if I can see it from the base camp. There we go, right here. So yeah, you should be able to see the peak from base camp. Let's see. There's a panel loading. Perfect. So that's the peak, right? Yeah. That's the peak. It's almost perfectly aligned, but that's the peak over there. That's what the peak does look like. It's a lot more um, edgy in real life than in the mesh. I mean, the picture of the mesh. Let's see if I get another view maybe from here. Wow. Very nice. Here, let me get my friend real quick. So uh, look, look up real quick. And from exactly where you are, try to look over there at the peak. Uh, that's the peak, and, and look what it looks like when you do the panel. Yeah. Because it, it looks like half dome in the mesh, but when you put the panel out, it actually looks like a rugged, you know, cliffy um, peak. Yeah, when, when you're up there, it feels like half dome. Oh, sort of. uh, press the hold A button, go to 3D models. It's air balloon. And I'll just make it really big. So both of us can fit. Something like that, maybe. And then, ah, okay. Then it's nice. And then I'm <laughs> going to don't move it one sec. Yeah. We go create a, where's this thing right here? And when I get the pad seat, I can just place it like that. All right. So you're on it, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so let me see if I fly. Yeah, you're flying. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is 
So we go back over the mountains, and there they are. It's supposed to be the best section of the trail from from uh, Mount Whitney to right. Yosemite. I mean, something nuts going on here. I wonder, is that the northern stairs? So let's just get a quick glimpse into... You're talking about the I'll be able to hear you, but do you know where half of them is relative to this? Is it still north? I don't recognize where we are. Oh, is this mono right there? That's the one. Isn't uh, Yosemite right to the left of mono, basically, mono lake? Yeah, like right yeah you passed Yosemite. No, that's mono over there, so it must be here somewhere. There it is. See, it must be this, right? No. Yeah, right here. That would be Yosemite. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, half Let me kind of go past it, see? It's half dome. There you go. So we're way south of half, half dome. This is half dome? Look how clear you can see half dome. That's amazing from the top. Wow. <laughs> By the way, uh, I was just here in half dome, and I made it, and I saw these things right here. Do you see it? Are you still with me? See, see what? The, these little half dome things. And that's what you see basically from these falls, Nevada Falls, whatever they call them, right here. I think that's all. Right. That's right here, where I made it. We went here, felt like we did way too much <laughs> for one day. Um, and that's what we saw. We were thinking that's half them, but actually that's half them. So down here, it's hard to see, see? But we figured, and so, so I forgot the name of the ones below. I think this is the one that falls right here. And then you walk, 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 walk. And then you make it.